On this video, we're going to continue working on our uh, Tomata project by creating the drawing of the presentation that we just created, which is this one. And uh, we're going to start by clicking on File, New, and then we're going to select Drawing, and then Create. Since this is a presentation where we use quite a bit of space between parts, we need to change the size of the sheet by doing size B and we're going to leave it in portrait, it's fine I'm sorry, not in portrait, we're going to use the landscape and we're going to click on base and we're going to select the presentation that we have let me uh, look for it Now, uh, as you can see, the presentation of the automata is quite a bit small, but we're going to change this one into a different, let's say E1 over 5, it looks good, I think it's quite a bit small, then 1 over 4, 1 over 3, I think 1 third is a good size. Let me see which one is the one that I used. I use 0.45. So we can change this one to 0 0.45, the scale. And I think it, it fits perfectly. And then we're going to click OK. Um, but we want it in color. So I'm going to double click on this. And I'm going to click on shading. So you can uh, have all the colors right there. So the next step will be um, adding the table with parts. And we're going to click on annotate. And we're going to insert the part list right here by clicking in part list. And we're going to select uh, the file that we want to uh, create the parts list. And you're going to click OK. And right away, you will have this table right here, which I'm going to insert in the corner. Now, this is a default uh, template of parts list. So what I'm gonna do is, I don't need the description because it's empty. So I'm gonna right click, as you can see, when I put the mouse, the table turns red. I'm gonna right click on this while the table is red. And then I'm gonna click on edit parts list. Once I'm here, I'm going to right click under the, uh, on the column that I don't want and I'm going to choose column chooser. And since the description is the one that I don't want, I'm going to click on remove. Select and then remove. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click OK. Now my table is, is obviously smaller. I just need to slide it. and make these columns smaller. Okay, I'm gonna undo, undo. You need to be careful, so, because if you don't look at the way the cursor turns, you won't be able to slide it the correct way, so you need to have those four arrows pointing to the corners so you can slide it. Also, you can make this one a little bit Smaller because we don't really need all this space. There you go. So now the parts list is being inserted, and now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna identify each of the parts on the drawing by inserting balloons. Um, we're gonna try to make a clean drawing. And we're going to start by clicking on balloons. And so I'm going to select the, this part first. Automatically, Inventor will be assigning the, no, the number of the balloon. So I don't want to be the line crooked. I'm going to try to make it 
as straight as possible there you go I'm gonna click right click and then continue then the next one will be this one I'm gonna click I'm gonna create the balloon and also I can make sure that it's been aligned with the previous balloon I'm gonna click right click continue then this one is the next one I'm gonna click right click and continue then this one will be the next part and what I'm trying to to make are lines that are kind of parallel click right click continue click right click continue and you're going to do this for all of the parts I'm going to pause it so you can see the complete so I'm continuing adding balloons so um, I want you to make sure that you don't just insert balloons like with no order right so we're going to try to make all these balloons align and also once you move these you can arrange the distances so everything looks clean and neat once you have reached to this point with all of the parts being uh, identified from the part list and continuing Some of the parts are going to have the same number because it's the same part inserted several times. So on this case, this one, um, I'm going to try to put right here. Without crossing parts. So this is how your drawing of the automata assembly looks like with the part list and the balloons that identify each of the parts from the table. Last thing is you're going to insert a text, you're going to uh, type the title, in this case will be 4.2.5 automata project. presentation your name right here you save it and before you close it you're gonna export it as a PDF okay and that's the one that you will be uploading to Schoology I hope this video will clarify uh, your doubts and questions thank you